I'm gonna go through here, turn through here, and then through there. All right, I am concentrating super hard this time, and I already feel like I'm doing pretty- Look, we can just go backwards. We can just go forwards and backwards. What kind of plane- what kind of plane does that? And then we're going to hit- apparently escape is the movie explosion button. So we're gonna press the movie explosion button with this heli carrier here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Besiege Best Creations, and today we're gonna be looking at a couple of different things, and first off, we're starting off with this biplane here. This is made by Brammer001, it's called RCS Model 20 on the workshop. He says, this is a simple and very agile biplane, good for flying, stunting, and being fun. And I think that's really what a Scrapman Besiege episode should be about, stunting and fun. So let's try to do some stunts with this thing. I Honestly, I haven't even flown it yet, so I figured it'd be it'd be the most fun for you to see me uh, try to learn how to use it. Um, so we're gonna just lift off here, no problem. Okay, apparently there's pillars that come up, and uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. This is my second time playing this map. <laughs> what is going? <laughs> what is going on with this thing? Oh, that's not exactly supposed to be how it works. Whoa, it's like when you put the, those washing machine videos where they put something into a washing machine while it's running and it just freaks out. <laughs> I was looking at the way this thing, like, I love the way these controls work, and I'm not sure, like, it looks like everybody that builds anything good uses, like, modded pieces where they, like, change the scale and stuff, so I'm still trying to learn how I would want to do things if I start building in this game. I'm just so overwhelmed with, like... With everything I don't know yet in this game, so that's why I'm checking out your creations and I take a close look at them too But it just seems like modding is so essential to be able to build things here, but um, I don't know I, I've been I've been fooling around a little bit with the uh, with the map the main map missions Just to get used to the game. We'll see if I include that in the in uh, in our videos or not But let's try this again um, Apparently we don't have a big enough runway here, so let's uh Let's take off through the town over here, how about that? There we go. So I decided to face this way for our start, so we have to, uh, activate the engine. Alright, and... Oops, that was the wrong way, gotta, gotta pull back. There we go, taking off. We're taking off, did that hurt us? I think that might have hurt us a little bit. Yeah, we have some broken wing pieces, but we're up in the air. Are we supposed to be smoking? Are we supposed to be smoking like that? Is that normal? Is that, is that working as intended? I don't know, my, I... I didn't know that smoking was the thing. Wow, this thing is agile, even though I broke it already. Whoa, look at this. Wait, were the propellers? Oh, oh, we've got red on our propellers. I was like, are they supposed to be red and white? But no, I think that's, uh, I think that's from the villagers we plowed through. <laughs> I think we may have done some damage to them over there. Hey, what's this road? Why is there just this random, what, what, what is this over here? Who's this hermit that lives over? in this area all by himself. He thinks he can get away from the scrap man? He thinks he can get away from the scrap man? Okay, maybe he can. That didn't quite work as well. <laughs> he's like, he's like, woohoo! <laughs> uh, why am I falling? Why? There we go. Where'd the villager go? Look at him celebrating. Is he celebrating or running away in fear? He might be running away in fear. Hey, Mr. Villager, are you happy that I missed your home? Are you happy that I missed your... Your little isolated home out here. I mean, now you have all this scrap to uh, to sell to to the traders that pass by. All right, so let's set a goal. We 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 got a we got a plane that has a lot of control. Apparently, how what do we want to do for this thing? What do we want to do? What's our goal here? Um, there's a lot of stuff on this map. In the last episode, where our goal was to fly a bathtub underneath a bridge. Maybe we can try, it looks like we got like three, four archways here. Let's see if we can get under all of these archways, or like most of them. Let's see if we can do like, is that, is that possible? Is that even, is that even possible? I don't think this archway right here is going to be the easiest thing to go under because uh, it's up against the rocks. So I don't know if our plane can get through there, but I know that our plane at the very least can go through here. All right, well that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to turn... I'm gonna go through here, turn through here, and then through there. I think that's a little bit too difficult, but we'll go, we're gonna give it a try anyway. There's a first per- ooh! Wait, are those guns? That is awesome. 
All right, we need we need to put some infinite ammo on over here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I wonder if I can use if I can get my control. Whoops, nope, not that. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, take off, take off. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. We should use this to take out the guy in the village. All right, we're gonna do that first before we do our stunt thing. Let me get rid of this menu here. All right, where is that villager guy? I don't even know where he was. Was he over on this side? I think he might have been over on this side. Did I hit? Oh. And then there's the villager. Okay. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta uh, airstrike the villager's house. So let's go into uh, first person now. Let's make sure we go. Oh no! Here we go. Do we have yaw? I think we have yaw. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I was the wrong button. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did we get him? <laughs> Did we get <laughs> We got his house, but we didn't get the villager. <laughs> now I think he's running away in fear. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. Nope. We missed him. Man, he's really well fortified in here. Like, he's got the terrain on his side. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. The controls are so sensitive, though. All right. You ready for this epicness? You ready for this epicness? We're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And now we are almost lined up. Come on. Ugh. I don't even know, can the arrows take out a house? I don't even know if that's possible. I have an arrow in my, uh, wing. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I have another arrow in my wing now. All right, you know what? We need to go really, really high. This is the secret. If we want to get the most accuracy here, we need to go really high. Oh, we're stalling. We've stalled higher, even higher. All right. I see his smokestack. Here we go. I have lost control of- uh Oh, I'm freezing. I went too high. I'm freezing. <laughs> Why is my camera way reset from my thing? My camera is- Come on, get back. There we go. All right. I think we've lost a lot of our vehicle. Well, we've destroyed that village a little bit. You know, you know what might be a good test run? Let me actually try shooting some village things, like, like this, and see if we actually do any... Yeah, it's not actually looking like I do damage. Alright, what about, what about first, what about first person? Whoops, I dropped something, what did I drop? I, I let go of all of my ailerons. Oh no! Do not press V! Do not press V. Everything disconnects. That was a little bit weird. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna do a first-person flyby shooting of these uh, of these villagers and see if it does any. Oh man, I can't. There we go. Up. Oh, nope. All right. It doesn't appear. Oh boy. There goes my propeller. There goes everything. Um. Hey everyone. How's it going? I love love what you've done with your places. Um, very rustic. Okay, let's get to our main objective here, shall we? We set off to go underneath these arches, and uh, we got distracted by trying to destroy an innocent villager's home, which I realize we can't do with arrows anyway. So where are these arches? Right there, they are right there. So we're gonna go one, two, three. All right. So the first, we might need to do it in slow motion to have a little bit more control. There's that villager again. I think if I just turn around here, we're pretty much good to go. We just gotta get down in through this arch. Uh oh, good start. Good start. We still oh, no, no, we can't recover it. I meant to do that. Uh, come in for a smooth landing. Yep, yeah, nailed it. Yeah, right, just so the villagers could come and uh, repair me. They're they're using their repair hammers on my plane so that I can get back up in the air in no time. Oh, that didn't sound good. Did he die? They're not doing a very good job of repairing me. It's the last time I come to this repair shop. All right, I slowed it down like 13%. So actually we can just, let whoa. All right, we're going in it. We're going high, we're going in hot. We're going in hot. Ah, ah, oh, we were so close. We got through two of them, but we didn't have enough altitude to turn ourselves underneath the third one. All right, I think we. I think that that makes me feel like this is actually doable now, though. All right, we have a perfect runway here. I didn't even realize I set myself up perfectly for this. All right, here we go. One, 
Oh, I hit my wing. I'm feeling good about this one. But man, it is so sensitive. The thing about being a good stunt plane is you- uh oh. Is, uh, you get really sensitive pitch and roll. So it's hard to do the fine adjustments. Alright, this is the one. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good about this one. I am feeling good about this one. Alright, we've only lost half our plane. It's alright. Alright, I'm feeling less confident about this than I was before. I feel like I got lucky on that first one, and now it's just gonna get harder and harder as I trip. Why do you have a house literally in the middle of a rocky mountain? Is this where you want to be carrying your groceries every day? Like, why would you do this to yourself? Be smart. See all these people down here? They don't have to worry about that kind of thing. I mean, you at least make like a walkway. Like, oh, these people, these people. I mean, that's why your house got destroyed in the first place. All right, I am concentrating super hard this time and I already feel like I'm doing pretty bad. You know, I was planning on doing more than just one creation this episode, but at this rate, I don't know. I mean, it's gonna take me a while to get this. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. Let's try first person, because you know, of course first person is gonna be so much better, right? Oh boy, it is so sensitive. Oh no, uh oh, I missed that arch. Okay, okay, come on, come, come on. All right, we, I, ah. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, it is so tough to get under that second archway is so low. All right, we're going in. We're going in nice and straight. Come on, get through the other arch. <laughs> All right, I'm going super slow-mo now. I'm gonna go into super slow-mo for this one. I feel like this is our only chance. If we don't get it in super slow-mo, then I think I think Scrapman has failed. Has set another goal that is too lofty for himself. All right, super slow motion. Let's see if we can do it now. I have a little bit more time to think and react. All right, here's the tough part, getting around this rock without hitting it, and then staying low enough to not hit that. That's the tough part there, is that that little rock jutting out is so difficult to avoid. Okay, this is the last try. This is the last try. I'm taking a slightly different angle this time, a little bit wider of an angle. Yes. 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 We did it! And then back at an almost normal speed for effect. All right, that was it. That was the last try, I called it. Last try, totally, totally did it. All right, let's let's uh, let's go on to the next creation after we slam ourselves into this cube. Dive bomb right into it, shall we? And there we go. Perfect. All right, so this one caught my attention because it's called Wingless Plane, or Flying Hedgehog. And apparently it is a plane without all of that useless wing stuff. All right, uh-oh, uh oh Whoa, whoa, what did you see? Look at this, look at this, it just goes back and forth. That is creepy almost, it's almost like uncomfortable. Oh, and it has, um, it, it has reaction turning. With the, see that? When they turn, that's how you do the yaw. They see, he said it was anti-freezing, but I see it frozen right there, but I guess it doesn't really affect it, does it? And let's just go straight back down, because we can do that. All right, let's uh, use camera one. Is, no, camera two. Whoa. All right, and if I use my air, whoa, that's cool. All right, how about this way? Look at this. So it uses those braces to turn and pitch and roll and yeah, this thing is super cool. So it looks like you, you, it doesn't, because it has no wings though, as you can see, it doesn't even soar. So you actually have to be going in order to not fall down, which is really cool. Uh, it, all right. But this thing is actually pretty agile as well. I love the way it works. Well, the camera does not like what I just did. All right, what's the other camera? Two. Oh, that's what I was on. First person, here we go. This is weird. This is kind of weird, but look, we can just go backwards. We can just go forwards and backwards. What kind of plane, what kind of plane does that? Because if we mess up trying to do a stunt, we can just like stop, no, no, back up, back up, go forward, go forward. Oh, that didn't work too well. All right, how are we doing? How are we doing on, uh, 
functionality here. Not too well, apparently. I'm a big fan. Like, this turned out to be way better- Oop. This turned out to be way better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Apparently, he has a weaponized version, so let's take a look at that. All right, here it is. Wingless plane weaponized. It says that the, for some reason the left engine doesn't work quite as well, so uh, it, it might be interesting. All right. It seems to be working. Oh, I see. I see. The left engine isn't working as well, so we, we pulled to the left the whole time. All right, so the, the weapons. Let's see if we can actually hit something, even though we're constantly pulling to the left. All right, here we go. Ugh. All right, that was perfect. Nailed it. Uh, and then we also got, what was the other one? Cannons. Cannons. Okay, so cannons are F. So if we just turn our, turn ourselves around here. I'm going to turn left of my own choice, my own free will, because that's the direction I want to go, not because it's pulling me there all the time. Oh, here we go. Cannons over here. Nope. Go this way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. I'm just... We're just going to keep going left, uh, because that's I think that's the best way for us to go right now. All right, let's try this again, shall we? We're gonna, we're gonna actually hit some homes this time. There we go, go, get it, yes, we got one. We got two. How did we get two? Only one of the missiles hit them. We must've gotten some, uh, some shrapnel debris. Oh no, not again, not again, not again. I think we have massacred two village, three, two and a half villages. All right, we haven't gotten a chance to use the cannons yet. And there's also bombs. Where, where are the bombs? I don't even see the bombs. Oh, they're really small bombs. I see them now. Okay, so let's go over a village. We're gonna try to go over this one, even though we keep pulling to the left. And this isn't working at well. Okay, now it's working. And see. Did it work? Did it, I can't see. I, I don't know if it, I couldn't see. All right, here we go, here we go. Ready, ready? Uh, whoops, um, uh, you're just pressing all the buttons. All right, this is the one, this is the one. We're doing it. All right, this is not the... We got him! Our dropped bombs actually worked that time. <laughs> All right, so that was the wingless plane. And we're gonna show off, um, I guess, one more creation. All right, guys, um, this might be a little bit ridiculous, but this, as you can see, is the shield helicarrier from Marvel. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna lag a lot, but apparently it also has a self-destruct button, so I figured we'd end this episode off with a bang after we see how this thing actually works. So this is made by Blasted Off, and it is called the Shield Her Helicarrier, and it has a lot of controls, because apparently you can control it like forward, back, left, right, turning, all of that, and you can also do all the pitch, so um, I just gotta make sure I know what I'm doing here. Go on, go, 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 go. All right. Yeah, look at that. Up and down. This thing's actually working so far. Ooh, look at this. This is really cool. It just le it just legit goes forward and back. That is really cool. And we have pitch as separate controls. Interesting. All right, um, what happens if we take this thing into the tower over here? Here, let's turn around. Oh, this is an interesting view. Come on. All right. Yeah, there we go. Now forward. Forward into the tower. Apparently my depth perception was way off. <laughs> Ooh, those pieces are just flying up in the air. Well, that was really weird. Well, look at that. Look at that destruction. That's actually pretty cool. We didn't even do self-destruct yet. Let's try it. Let's try hitting this tower again. All we got to do is back up. All right. That, that's fine. All we got to do is just back up. Aha, there we go. Oh, we're falling. We're falling up and and we're we're down. Wait, are we good? Can we can we recover? Can we recover from <laughs> Look how big this thing is. I feel like this thing should not be moving this fast. For its size, this thing It's like it's like a little plastic toy. Okay, so let's get ourselves up in the air and we're gonna watch this thing. I'm gonna put it down to 50%. And then we're going to hit, apparently escape is the movie explosion button. So we're gonna press the movie explosion button with this heli carrier here. All right, here we go in three, two, one.
It's like a timed explosion thing. That was actually, what? It had like multiple stages of like explosives. What, what are we, where are we going? Okay. All right, we're off. We're, we're ascending into heaven now since, uh, since we've just killed ourselves on the helicarrier. Bye. Bye, bye world. I'm going into, going into the cosmos, becoming an ethereal being. All right, well, I think this is a great place to uh, end the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the second episode of Besiege. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more like this. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like the episode and uh, leave a comment, leaving, put a little timestamp. Let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. Cause I always like to watch uh, what you- Um, epilepsy warning, quick epilepsy warning. <laughs> Like I was saying, I always like to watch what your favorite part of the episode was. Maybe it was that right there. That was super weird. Uh, but yeah, this has been Scrap Man, and I'll see you Scrappers next time. Bye. Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.